Thank you. In the last three weeks, the Prime Minister has been subject to five community notes on X, formerly Twitter. Five times the X community has called out Prime Minister Albanese for spreading misinformation. We know this because Elon Musk's system of community notes allows the public to moderate each other and agree among them what's true and what's not. I can see why disgruntled former Twitter executive e-safety commissar Julian Mangrant detests X and detests Elon Musk. As the infamous Hillary Clinton admitted last week in a CNN interview, social media platforms like X need to, be censored, need to censor content because if they don't, quote, we lose total control, her words. Maintaining total control is the purpose of the United Nations Pact for the Future, which is really a pact for their future, not ours. Hillary Clinton's unusual honesty exposed the real motivation for introducing the MAD bill, MAD bill, misinformation, and disinformation. Control means censoring the truth. There's no better evidence of this than the treatment dealt to two of the world's most respected medical professionals. I proudly welcome in the gallery one of the UK's leading oncologists, Professor Angus Dalglish from St George's University, London, and Dr Paul Marrick, a leading American physician persecuted for challenging the pharmaceutical corporate narrative. Both these amazing medical professionals are on an Australian speaking tour with the Australian Medical Professional Society, a union one nation proudly and strongly supports. Its highly qualified and respected health professionals, like our guests in the gallery, have suffered the consequences of the war on truth that drives the Liberal Labor Uni Party's misinformation and disinformation bill, appropriately abbreviated to MAD, MAD. I urge everyone to come along and listen to the real COVID story, not the government's lie, while we still can, and to join us in our ongoing four-year campaign to protect free speech.